The first ingredient that we have in the beaker is just DI water for this lotion. And the first thing that we will add to the water is a little bit of cornstarch. This is going to help reduce the tackiness and oiliness in the final lotion. And it can also help to opacify it. Our next step is to make a premix of xanthan gum and propane diol. The xanthan gum will eventually thicken the water phase and we are premixing it with the propane diol to aid in its solubility into the water. Now that the xanthan gum is well dispersed in the zamea, we will add it to our formulation. This should thicken the formulation a small amount, so increasing the propeller speed may be necessary. Now we will begin to work on our oil phase. The first ingredient is crotomol isis, which is isosterol isosterate. This is an emollient used to provide a rich feel and improve the spreadability of your final formulation. Next, we will add some glycerol stearate to the crotomol isis. This is our primary emulsifying surfactant, and it also helps to stabilize the product, decrease its water evaporation, make it freeze resistant, and keep it from forming surface crusts. The next ingredient that we will be adding to the oil phase is cocoa glucoside. This is going to be our secondary surfactant and will help to build the viscosity of our formulation. The next ingredient that we will be adding is cetyryl alcohol. This can also be known as cetyl sterol alcohol. This emollient will help to soften the skin and will also help to stabilize our final product. The next ingredient that we will be adding is coconut oil. This will provide the moisturizing power to our final formulation. The next ingredient that we will add to the oil phase is squalane. This is a very common emollient used in a lot of formulas, and here we are using it to help reduce the transepidermal water loss on the skin and restore the skin's suppleness and flexibility. Now that our oil phase and water phase are at temperature and both are com completely uniform, we will begin to slowly add the oil to the water phase. Now that our oil and water phase are completely together, we will allow it to mix at temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes. Next, we will allow it to cool to room temperature to add our final three ingredients while continuing to mix. Now that our formula has cooled to room temperature, we can add our technologies and our preservative. The first ingredient will be the preservative, Lincozerve WPHLO. This is going to help our formulation be resistant to any bugs or bacteria. Now the first of our two technologies will be added. This is hydrocell BKC, which is encapsulated benzyl conium chloride that is activated by water. So when it is applied in something like a lotion like this, it forms a film on the skin with BKC inside of that film. In the presence of water, the film breaks down and releases the BKC to kill bacteria. Now the final ingredient and the second of our two technologies, salisphere even skin, will be added to the formula. This is encapsulated salicylic acid that is used for exfoliation. And what's nice about this ingredient is that there is no irritation normally associated with salicylic acid due to it being encapsulated. This also allows for a higher loading of salicylic acid versus free salicylic acid. This is our anti-blemish face lotion that contains hydrosal BKC and salisphere even skin. As you can see, it is consistent with what most lotions would look like. Characteristic white color, not runny, but also not really thick, like a cream. Here is the application of the anti-blemish face lotion. Obviously, it would normally be used on the face, so this is being used on the hand here. Only a very small amount is needed. It absorbs very easily, and once it is absorbed, there is no tackiness or tugging. It is very smooth and hydrating.